afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over at Cable Channel 3. And you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. Or even more interesting, come and visit us at the south side of the square at 110 East 3rd. Uh, visit us for coffee and uh, good conversation. Today is Monday and it is a nice cool Monday after so much of the hot weather we have been having. And there's a large and high pressure um, bridge that centers over all of the Midwest right now. And it will do that for most of this week. And this will cause uh, the hot and humid temperatures running between 5 and 15 degrees above um, average. But some areas could see temperatures in the 100s. But later on in the week, we'll get some relief uh, as a cold front will finally break the back of this hot weather and bring in um, a cool, um, some cooler weather. But right now in the square, it is uh, partly cloudy, a very pleasant 76 degrees with 56% humidity. And for the next several hours or so, it will, it will remain partly cloudy, um, bringing in the high at about 83 degrees. As we move into the evening hours, we should have some stray um, thunderstorms, uh, possibly through the evening, and bring in the night, nighttime temperatures to a low of pleasant 63 degrees, somewhat of a high humidity of 76 percent. Uh, Tuesday promises to be partly cloudy as well with a 20% chance of rain and we can see those winds um, south southeasterly at 13, 30 miles per hour, humidity a little bit low at 59% and the high at 88% and the nighttime will bring in um, some cool weather at 65%. 65 degrees with 74% um, humidity. Wednesday partly cloudy, a little bit higher high of 92 degrees and a low of 88. And what's happening in the community? We just want to wish Milton John, today is his birthday. So if you see Milton, uh, make sure you wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday Milton and thanks for all you do. And on the 16th tomorrow, it'll be Timmy Easterly birthday and Cash Matt Bay. So if you see these people in our village, in our city, do wish them happy birthdays. Mark your calendars for July 22 through the 26th. And this is for the Vacation Bible School at the First United Methodist Church at 807 East 1st Avenue, St. John. And um, if you need some more in, uh, information, give them a call at 620-549-3896. The, vac the Vacation Bible School is quite interesting. It is designed for children four years to eighth grade. So there's lots of activity, lots of um, singing, lots of um, good fun. Everywhere fun is the theme of the uh, Bible study, the Vacation Bible School this year. Everywhere fun fair um, with God's word in God's world as as God world come together. So interesting. So mark your calendars for July twenty through through the twenty sixth at six eight six o'clock to eight p.m. We will also remind you later on in the week about that. And of course, this week starts the Stafford County Fair. Um, Wednesday, there should be a hamburger and watermelon feed, followed by the horse show at 6 p.m. and the entrepreneur contest. Uh, that highlights Wednesday. Thursday uh, evening is the 4-H community uh, appreciation night where the 4-H's will be thanking the community for all the support they have given them over the year, over, through the year. And they will be serving up all the ice cream you can eat. Uh, 
that evening and with other um, activities as well. So check the list for the Stafford Fair activities. And on Friday, it's, it's highlighted by the craft lessons for the young people. They would be offering kids craft lessons from one to three and they would be making bracelets and different types of crafts. And on Saturday morning, it's highlighted by a free community breakfast sponsored by the, um, the Chamber of Commerce. And they, there's also round robin kids will sh where the kids will show off their different types of livestock. Very interesting. I know the kids have been working on that for much, much of the year, so this is their chance to show off their livestock. And um, that evening also, the Lions Club will offer a barbecue supper, followed by the um, Barnyard Olympics. So there's lots of activities for everyone, and I know I particularly enjoyed it last year and plan to do so again this year. So mark your calendars and come out and support the Stafford Fair. And over at the Maxville Center, we have an interesting um, week of menus for you this week. Starting today with a pasta salad with vegetables, a toss salad with green peppers, carrots, and peaches. And tomorrow we should have oven fried chicken with mashed potatoes, stewed tomatoes, rolls, and a sweet sherbet. And on Wednesday, we have pepper steak with rice, oriental vegetables, bread, and an angel cake with strawberries. I think that sounds exciting for the summer weather. And over at the Senior Center, the Sunflower Center, today we have a baked potato with steak and wax beans and a tossed salad and ice cream. Tomorrow we should have Hawaiian meatballs on a rice pilaf and carrots, fruit, and a cream pudding. And on Wednesday, we look forward to ham, sweet potato, green beans, vegetable salad, and an orange cake. And turn off the oven and visit the centers for good summer eating. And our thought for the day, it's on time and anger. Every minute I am angry, I lose 60 seconds of happiness. Every minute I'm angry, I lose 60 seconds of happiness. And if you are patient in one moment of anger, you will escape a hundred days of sorrow. So be happy and not be angry. Your thought for the day.